Ukraine is already defeated, but the game is just starting. Adamu Garaba says, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A former presidential aspirant under the platform of the Young Progressive Party, YPP, Adamu Garaba, recently took to his Facebook page to predict that China and Russia would determine the future of Russia, Adamu Garaba said. By a meaningful measurement, the NATO alliance has broken and no longer exists. Ukraine is already defeated. But the game is just starting. China and Saudi Arabia will determine the future of Russia, while Turkey, Sweden, and perhaps Germany will determine the future of Europe. Adamu Garaba's post goes thus. By a meaningful measurement, the NATO alliance has broken and no longer exists. Ukraine is already defeated, but the game is just starting. China and Saudi Arabia will terminate the future of Russia, while Turkey, Sweden, and perhaps Germany will determine the future of Europe. The West told us Russia is producing only oil and gas. If they sanction Russian oil and gas, Russia is finished. They did not tell us Russia is a major manufacturer of sophisticated military equipment, heavy industrial machinery, telecom equipment, pharmaceuticals, space technology, and nuclear power plants, among hundreds of other industrial goods. That is now that is now causing an economic crisis in the West due to the shortage following the sanctions on Russia, for which Russia's allies are heavily dependent on Russia, especially military equipment, space technology, turbines and nuclear reactors. IMF, WFP and AFDB have all warned that the global food crisis is looming. And now, America has admitted and confirmed that Russia is not only an oil, gas, military, technological, space and industrial manufacturing giant, but also the food basket of the world. United States Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman yesterday, Tuesday at the United Nations Security Council meeting, stated that 30% of the world's wheat exports typically come from the Black Sea region of Russia, as does 20% of the world's corn and 75% of sunflower oil. He went on to accuse Putin created this global food crisis. They admitted that and only Putin is the one who can stop it. America is now blaming Russia for the good for the food crisis the world is facing instead of blaming the sanctions they are leading to the rest of the world by the nose to impose on Russia. Well, if you ask me, oh, this war, this is their war, eh? <laughs> this is their war will be said at the end of the day. People are supposed to do you know, this one. This particular one, this war, people like this should have discussed this issue and this issue that by God would have been by God, but I don't know what exactly is the problem anymore. Sincerely, I don't know if Zelensky enjoys seeing his people suffer. This brings us to the end of the news, okay? On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.